Hello and welcome back to AI Beyond Borders. In this video, we're going to discuss some hacking techniques used by hackers that everyone should know. These techniques can be used to gain access to personal or sensitive information, and it's important to be aware of them to protect yourself from potential cyber attacks. 1. Dictionary Attack A dictionary attack is one of the most basic but widely used password attacks by hackers to gain unauthorized access to user accounts. In this attack, the attacker creates a comprehensive list of commonly used passwords or words that are likely to be used as passwords and then utilizes this list to try and guess the password for a target account. The principle behind a dictionary attack is that many users use simple and predictable passwords, such as password or 123456. By systematically trying all the passwords in the dictionary list, the attacker can quickly gain access to the account if the password matches one in the list. To defend against a dictionary attack, users should create strong, complex passwords that are not easily guessable. Strong passwords typically include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and should be lengthy enough to make it challenging for an attacker to guess them. Furthermore, Users should avoid using passwords that can be easily associated with them, such as their name, birth date, or pet's name. Another effective way to defend against dictionary attacks is to use two-factor authentication, 2FA. With 2FA, a user has to provide two forms of identification, such as a password and a code sent to their mobile device, before gaining access to an account. This added layer of security makes it much more challenging for attackers to gain access to user accounts, even if they manage to guess the correct password. 2. Rainbow Tables Attack This is a highly sophisticated password-cracking technique utilized by cybercriminals to gain unauthorized access to user accounts. This type of attack is distinct from dictionary attacks, which involve the use of pre-existing word lists to guess passwords. Instead, Rainbow Tables attacks employ pre-calculated hash values to crack passwords. When a user enters a password into a system, it is usually hashed using a mathematical algorithm, and the resulting hash is stored in a database. Rainbow Tables attacks work by creating a vast table of pre-computed hash values for all possible combinations of passwords. This table, known as a rainbow table, enables hackers to quickly and efficiently identify the password that corresponds to a particular hash value. The success of Rainbow Tables attacks depends on the predictability of the hashing algorithm used by the system. Most hashing algorithms are deterministic, meaning that the same password will always produce the same hash value. By pre-computing hash values for all possible combinations of passwords, hackers can quickly identify the password corresponding to a particular hash and gain access to the user's account. To protect against Rainbow Tables attacks, system administrators can use a technique called salting. Salting involves adding a random string of characters to each password before it is hashed, making it more challenging for hackers to use pre-computed hash values to crack passwords. The salt value is unique to each user and is stored alongside the password hash in the database. Another way to defend against Rainbow Tables attacks is to use hashing algorithms that are less predictable. For example, some algorithms incorporate a random component into the hash value, making it challenging for hackers to pre-compute hash values for all possible passwords. 3. Brute Force Attack A brute force attack is a hacking technique used to crack passwords by guessing every possible combination of characters, words, and symbols until the correct password is discovered. This method is particularly effective against weak passwords that lack complexity or are easily guessed. There are two primary forms of brute force attacks, online and offline. Online attacks involve guessing passwords directly on the login page of the system, while offline attacks involve stealing the password hash stored in the system's database and attempting to crack it offline. To conduct a brute force attack, hackers use specialized software that can generate passwords at a high rate of speed. The software works by systematically generating every possible combination of characters, starting with simple passwords such as password and 1234, and progressing to more complex combinations of letters, numbers, and symbols. Brute force attacks are typically slower than other password cracking techniques, such as rainbow tables attacks. However, they can still be successful, particularly against weak passwords that lack complexity. To defend against brute force attacks, 
system administrators can implement security measures such as multi-factor authentication and password policies that require users to create strong, complex passwords. Multi-factor authentication is an essential defense against brute force attacks. This technology requires users to provide additional authentication beyond a password, such as a fingerprint or a one-time code sent to their phone. 4. Phishing Attack Phishing attacks are one of the most common types of social engineering techniques used by hackers to trick unsuspecting victims into divulging their personal information. They can be pretty sneaky and come in many different forms, including emails, instant messages, and even phone calls. These attacks often involve the hacker impersonating a legitimate entity, like a bank or a popular website, to make the victim believe that the message or call is genuine. They will typically ask the victim to enter their login credentials or financial information into a fake website or form that looks identical to the real thing. One way that hackers conduct phishing attacks is by using a technique called credential harvesting. In this attack, they create a fake login page that looks just like the real thing and then ask the victim to enter their login credentials. Once the victim enters their information, the hacker can use it to gain access to their account. Another type of phishing attack is known as a man-in-the-middle attack. In this attack, the hacker intercepts the communication between the victim and the legitimate website, allowing them to capture the victim's personal information as they interact with the site. To protect against phishing attacks, it's important to educate users about the dangers of phishing and how to spot a phishing message. This includes looking for signs of a phishing message, such as suspicious URLs, spelling errors, and requests for personal information. Anti-phishing software can also be used to protect against phishing attacks. This software uses a variety of techniques, such as URL filtering and content analysis, to detect and block phishing messages and websites. So there you have it, four hacking techniques used by hackers that everyone should be aware of. While these techniques can be used for malicious purposes, it's important to remember that knowledge is power, and by being aware of these techniques, you can better protect yourself from potential cyber attacks. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.